If you're like me here, hear me out. I have fine hair. I can't go to bed with wet hair. If I go to bed with wet hair, it is greasy when I wake up, it is a mess. So if I wash my hair at night, I gotta blow it dry. I gotta take care of it that way, make sure I put my things in my hair before I blow it dry. Now, when you wake up and your hair is not how you went to bed, all the volume you had before you went to bed and then you go to bed, it's not like that. You go to curl your hair, what kind of hairstyle does it give you? Well, my hair's up right now. You can tell it didn't give me one that I love. So I'm gonna walk you through a couple things that you can do if that is you, or if you just, something isn't making sense with your hair on day two hair. These are some key simple things that you can do to hopefully make your day two hair even better. So first things first is ask yourself, do I have heat protection still in my hair? Do I need to heat protect it again? Do I need to add a dry shampoo or anything like that? When it comes to medium fine hair, fine hair, thick hair, I know we watch a lot of tutorials where people recommend um, dry shampoos, but it's really hard. It's definitely one of those ones that you've just got to test out some dry shampoos. You can take recommendations, but no, there's a really high chance that that dry shampoo is not gonna work out for you. So this is one that I actually put in my hair. This is from Launch. This is the Stardust Dry Shampoo. I use this one more for texture. So I have fine hair. I need to add texture within my hair, um, especially that day two um, when I wake up in the morning and it's nice and smooth, but I hadn't done anything with it the day before. When I have that fine hair, I need to get that texture into the hair, adding to it because I don't wanna do a ton with it when it comes to heat, but I do need to make some type of difference. So that dry shampoo is not one that I really use as a dry shampoo. I add it in more for texture. So I'm gonna go in with a dry shampoo that I need. This one is also from Launch, but I have two or three others that I love. I have a blog that is called my current hair blog that I can link as well. Um, if I forget to link it, it's fitmissionmakeup.com slash blog, find current hair. I always keep it up at the top so that if I change what I'm using, you know. Um, but in there, I have the dry shampoo that I have listed that I love. Um, it's a great one to try. So I go through and mix that up through the hair and I hone in and focus on this front. Now with having fine hair, the more of that dry shampoo that we add, the more of the products that we add, we start to feel that it's weighing it down. So what are things that we can do to lift it back up? You can always incorporate the volume from um, volume. <laughs> it's called the volume, but it has these little teeth that crimps the roots. You don't want to put it on the top of your hair because then it's literally going to go in and crimp the root, crimp the hair at the roots. <laughs> that was hard to say. I'm going to put my hair back and forth from side to side. I had done my hair with a little bit of curls that second that when I woke up in the morning and I just was not happy with my hair. So technically this is day two hair, kind of day three hair because I slept on it. I have slept on this for two nights. So what I'm gonna do is I need to hone in on where my part is. Changing your part from what you curled it is so helpful. But something that you can really do is curl your hair with everything down the center if you're not getting the amount of volume that you want. After you curl it down the center, when you, after you're done curling it, you can part it over the side and it's gonna give you a lot more volume. So I'm gonna put a heat tool that is actually a, a bigger um, hair tool for me. So this is a one and one fourth inch. This one, I don't think I would recommend this, this actual curling iron. Um, it is just one that happened to be in my house. I literally do not know where this came from. I stole it from my daughter. Don't even know where it, where it came from but it is a one and one fourth. A lot of times I use a one inch, but on these, these other day hairs, I wanna make it a looser curl, not a tight curl, um, and just kind of work with it lightly in that way. Um, I'm going to try to not add a lot more product to my hair if I can um, help it. That is where this really came into play to help add in that texture. So I actually have not shared this product anywhere. Um, online. It's actually not even listed in my blog for good reason. I think if you haven't seen how I use it, it will be used wrong. You'll think that I recommended a product that is not good. So every single thing that I ever recommend, I don't recommend it because um, a company has told me to or anything like that. I try it out forever before I bring it up. This is a great product, but it can easily be used wrong. So this one is a heat block spray, high hold heat protecting spray. And it's so it's a hairspray and it is a heat protectant. So this is what I do. 
I'm gonna part my hair off and just, I'm gonna actually not go so low. I'm just gonna take this top section and pull it up. Then I'm going to spray this onto the hair. Then I'm gonna take my brush and brush the product through. And because this is a hairspray, when it dries, it does dry kind of tacky, okay? So before I curl it, if I need to brush through it one more time after the product is dried, the reason why I brushed it through is to distribute the rest of the product. But if I do need to brush it through one more time after the product is dry, I will. Now I'm gonna take that heat tool and I'm just gonna do these quick curls so it is looser coming on through there. My goal is not to have like these perfect curls. If you wanted to incorporate two different hair tools on this, you so could, because that's gonna give you a lot different look. You so could. But I'm coming through here just to add body and volume and really, and then let that sit while it's cooling and really just to get body and volume because I lost it when I slept and I'm not looking for a super tight curl. I'm just looking for what it's lacking, so. I, you can tell the hair length for the size, but that's why I like using a bigger hair tool. Um, so this curling iron is a one and one fourth. It's not a one and a half. And that all depends on your hair length too. So if you have shorter hair than me, then you probably want a one inch. If you have longer hair than me, then you can go to the one, one, half, one and one half and so forth. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the next section. But now, because I already have that curl under there, if I go and brush this out, I'm gonna jack it up. So now see what I do with this product. I put it on. I take the section that is down and I brush it out this way. Or you can do this. You can grab hold of it first, spray one section, spray the underside of it, and then brush through and you wanna brush until you feel that it's dry. You never wanna curl your hair when it still feels wet. That's why I like to go and do, do it in sections so everything has time to dry. And you can take them forward or back and then forward if you want. You can do them all back, but I like when I do some forward because it makes it lose that ringlety type look that sometimes we give our hair. That back section, I'll brush. And when I do the back, I just try, instead of keeping it halfway so it stays like this, I try and turn my hand so it gets up and down as much as possible. So in the back doesn't have a ton of curl either. Now we get to the very top. So I'm gonna, again, part it down the center. Okay, and I'm gonna curl it down the center. Grab this, spray the product brush it through. I love this hair product, but you gotta use it right. Let it dry completely before you use it. Have this one go forward. You know what's crazy is I've done so many day two hair tutorials. If you go look through all my day two hair and none of them are the same. And that's what's so cool too about short hair is everybody always thinks that if you have short hair, your hair's always gonna look the same it never turns out the same. But it's also a huge reason I don't use the same hair tools. I'm always changing up the hair tools that I use. I think that that's important too, to know and for me to address, is I don't use the same hair tools all the time, which means every time when you see a tutorial, chances are it was not done with the same hair tool, which is gonna make a difference for you. So you just have to, if you don't wanna buy all the different hair tools that I buy, you just have to figure out which ones you like the most. You like that look the most, but all of it depends too on how long your hair is versus my hair and what size of barrel that you need. Okay, we're gonna finish this up. Finish up these curls. There's not much to do. I'm gonna do this one forward. Okay, and I'm gonna let those um, dry, or not dry. I'm gonna let them cool down. All right, so after your, cool, your curls cool, this is where people go wrong. They just leave it like this and they're like, I hate my hair. Like Jocelyn does it and she kind of, you might kind of go like this and they'll be like, my, why does my hair not try, like look like Jocelyn's? Well, it's because I don't leave it at that. So you're gonna see me come in like so and I really just wiggle 
that in through there and wake it up. Okay, there's two things that can happen. You can love your hair. Part it down the center, it looks so cute, you love it. You now got some of your volume back. I always recommend if you use a hairspray, instead of just spraying the hair, <laughs> take your hand from wherever your part is, kind of lift it, and then spray with hairspray instead of just spraying it. Because what that does is it gives you a little bit more lift at the root instead of just going in and spraying your hair. But if you want something, you look at it, you're like, I just don't like it. You're gonna change your part, okay? So this is what I looked like before. Okay, okay. And this is what I'm gonna look like after just by changing my part. So we come over here and look. It's a whole different look. So which one do you like better? Down the center or off to the side? You choose. So you can tuck it behind your ear. You can put it in a clip or leave that down, put this in a clip. You can really change it up however you like. I'm gonna add just a little bit of this little bump in the front, spray the hair, give it that volume. Notice I'm using minimal hairspray because we don't wanna add too much because the hair is already heavy, er, because it's not freshly cleaned hair. Add a little volume right in here. There you go, my hair is styled. We're ready to rock and roll. Two day hair, revamped it so it had volume and now you have voluminous two day hair with loose curls using a one and one fourth inch curling iron, okay? All right, so if you have any questions, hope this helped. I have fine hair, I just have a lot of it. So it really weighs it down with fine hair. We wanna make sure that we kind of lift it up. So those day twos, day threes really matter. I hope you're doing great. I hope that you subscribe to this channel, you like this channel, give this video some love. I would totally appreciate it. Follow me. You can also find me on Instagram at jocelyn.mcclellan and you can find me on Facebook at Fit Mission Makeup with Jocelyn McClellan too, where I go live on both platforms. I post a ton over on both platforms and I hope you have a great day. Take care.